wise man Daniel, which is one of the wise men that used to stay with TB Joshua at Scorn, has made a response video to the passing of TB Joshua. It's the next reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. In this video, you're going to see the dangers of bad theology from the roots to how it even affects Christ's image or how you see Christ under whatever teaching you are under. And this is the video. We're going to react to it here. He gave my mentor, Senior Prophet TB Joshua, a great commission. Hmm. He sent him to this earth to win souls for Christ. That sounds like Superman, you know, like he sent him into the world. But skip that. You and I, you agree with me that this man fought for our salvation. What does that mean? He says we will agree with him. No, we don't agree with you because we don't know what you're talking about. We will agree with him that Chief Joshua fought for, for our salvation. How? Agree with me that this man fought for our salvation. How? He fought for the salvation of mankind. He fought for the salvation of many. So if he fought for the, for the, for the people's salvation and the salvation of mankind, me and yours, what was Jesus here for? He, the man has rendered the cross of none effect. The, 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 the Christ is the one that was there to do that. So what was T.B. Joshua then fighting for our salvation for? It's, and it's such a simple thing. You will be asking yourself, how does he get it that wrong? Many who were under the shackles and dominion of Satan. The many who were entangled by demons. Many who were possessed by ancestral spirits. Many who could not have children. Many who were crippled. Many who were blind, deaf, and dumb. Jesus Christ used him to rescue them. And not only rescuing them, but brought them to the platform of salvation. So Jesus used him to rescue them. Now you could find verses that kind of speak of it like that. But you will notice that he is giving Tib Joshua messianic attributes. You don't do that. No man has messianic attributes here, okay? And so you'll have to rewind a little bit uh, if you wanted to hear it properly or in its depth. I find it very disturbing that they think of a man the way they would think of, the way we think of Jesus. Jesus is the one that was sent to fight for our salvation. And that's what he did on the cross. No man does that. Jesus is very clear when he's speaking to Peter. Peter, do you love me? If you love me, this is what you do. You feed my flock. He didn't say go fight for my flock. So where does Daniel get his theology that Tib Joshua was fighting for our salvation? We told our people. What, where does he get this? It's scorn theology. Scorn theology scorns the, <laughs> the Bible. <laughs> it mocks the Bible. It mocks and removes Christ's centered theology into this weird thing here. He's kryptonite. <whistles> Superman. He's come to save us. He's come to fight for our salvation. We can agree, he says. No, we can't agree because we don't know what you're talking about. And bear in mind, we're not, we're not going to stop addressing the theological aspects because someone has passed away. We've been doing that. They were busy prophesying other people were going to die. Now when they die, we mustn't talk. Bazalani, go, go home, chill, and relax. The weird thing is that the theology will, will follow and it will go further from here, which is what Bisola Johnson actually mentioned, to say, uh, notice how the modus separandi goes and you will you, you track it from the spiritual father you will find it in the sons tip joshua fought for our salvation what is this man talking about what salvation were you were you given that tip joshua fought for if tip joshua had to fight for it when jesus said it is finished it wasn't finished jesus lied eh. yeah. 